Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of building a progressive web app with react with workbox and I'm going to help especially the beginners who have absolutely no knowledge of how to set up the react application from scratch. Uh, that is why I'm, in this episode I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up the entire react application. Uh, if you're not a beginner and if you just want to uh, learn about how to convert your existing react application into pwa you can definitely skip this particular tutorial all right but uh, in this episode is going to be absolutely everything from scratch uh, because you can always use create react app but when it comes to uh, knowing what is going under the hood how each of these pieces are stitched together uh, that knowledge is really really important so that's why we'll do everything from, from scratch okay we're going to start so I'm going to create a directory called react pwa workbox example and then I'll cd into it okay and then I'm going to do npm init yes to create a package.json file and then once I do that I'm going to install a bunch of packages so let me just open this project first. So I'm going to react pwa workbox example. And you can see that package.json is already created, which is great. I'm going to install a bunch of packages. So I'm going to say npm install react. So I'm going to need react. I'm going to need react dom. So I'm going to install these two packages, react and react dom. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and set up my webpack because in order for me to bundle all of my files, also webpack makes things a lot easier when it comes to bundling modules or, uh, you know, interacting with Babel and converting modern JavaScript into JavaScript that most browsers can understand using Babel. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to install webpack as well. So I'll say npm install webpack. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need webpack CLI. Then we'll need webpack dev server so that we can so we can serve our files locally. So now so npm install webpack, webpack CLI, webpack dev server hyphen D. So webpack dev server hyphen D. So this is going to install all of these packages. The next thing I'm going to need is basically um, create some of the directories. So this is going to be my public directory where my index.html is going to stay. So I'm going to say index.html. And then inside of this, I'm going to have div with an ID of root. So this is where I'm going to insert my React application. Then I'm going to create a directory called source, which will be my root for all of my files. And inside of this source, I'm going to create index.js. And I'm going to say import react from react. and then import react dom from react dom and then import okay then we also need to create another file inside of the source and we'll name it as app.js this is where our application files will stay and we'll create a class called app that extends react dot component class so there's a class in the in react called component and it's going to extend that i'm going to import react also react from react and then it's going to be render function so whatever this is going to output will be displayed on the page so render and then return for now i'll just say hello world our traditional hello world and then 
we'll export it so this is your ES6 module and we'll just say export default app we'll go back to our index.js and inside of which we will say we will say react dom dot render we want to render our app component let's import app import app from app.js and then this is going to be an app component and it will go to so document dot get element by id and it's going to be root so what this is going to do basically is is going to take our app whatever our entire application is the react application is going to insert the content of that inside of the div with an id of root and you already know that inside of public we have this div with an id of root and this is where it will be inserted okay now next thing we'll do is we'll set up the webpack so so we'll create a file called webpack.config.js and inside of this I'm gonna say I'm gonna need a bunch of plugins also actually so far what we've got is webpack webpack CLI and we have webpack dev server so we're gonna need to have a bunch of other plugins as well and those plugins will be npm install HTML webpack plugin so we're gonna need the HTML webpack plugin so take a look at what this plugin does by the time this gets installed as dev dependencies basically simplifies the creation of HTML file to serve your webpack bundles and this is especially useful for webpack bundles that include hash in the file name which changes every compilation you can either let the plugin generate the HTML for you and supply your own, temp own template using the load ash load ash templates or using your own loader so there's some basic usage of how to actually use it so we're just gonna go ahead and copy that so i'm gonna go to webpack config paste this all right and then it has given us some configuration how to configure it so you need the entry uh, my entry is not index.js in the root it's actually inside of the source so i'm gonna say dot dot is for root and then source and index.js this is my index.js that's what i want to serve and also uh, we can also provide some other parameters like context we can provide context as dir name directory name okay so this is your entry uh, then you have the output path.resolve dir name and then dist in our case it's dist and i think i'll just put this like so because it's going to be in the root anyways okay and then the file name uh my file name i think i want to produce my output in main.js so basically it's going to go ahead and take all of the content from the index.js in this case we have an entire app which is inserted into the root so it's going to take that and then it's going to output the files uh, with this path inside of a disk folder so it's going to create a disk folder automatically and then it's going to you know uh, output all of the content inside of a file it's going to create a file called main.js and it's going to output that there we also need to put public path uh, slash which is root okay and then the next thing we want to do is we'll give another configuration called dev server and in our case i'll say history api fallback true so you can see this is the configuration available here dev server dot history api fallback when using html5 history api uh, index or html page will likely to have to be served in place of any 404 response enable it by setting it to true in case of 404 response is going to uh, you know serve the index.html all right